Well, hi to the AEA Selection 8. There's a, a quick video and shout out from me to all of you because I can't be with you tomorrow at your graduation. Obviously, it's a really important day for you and uh, I hope you have fun, I hope you enjoy it and I hope that, uh, that you really get to celebrate it. I, uh, I can't believe that we're there already and I look back and think about the first day that I met you and I came down to the classroom and chatted to you. And um, I haven't had an opportunity to spend that much time with you over the, the past three months. But there are some things about each of you that I do remember and I'm going to hopefully not embarrass you but at least talk about some of those things on each of you. Firstly to Olivia, we had a big laugh and a long chat about uh, pole dancing and obviously there were all the sniggers and jokes that, uh, that go hand in hand with all the connotations around that. But uh, subsequent to that, um, I'm really interested to hear about um, the MC course and how that was a life-changing and life-defining moment for you. Um, and also how that translated into fantastic academic results on the course. Then Shalendra, or rather Shane, we chatted about Peter Maritzburg memories and living with no regrets and your time in the SAPS. Um, I think importantly that a lot of people don't know is your wife's illness and what you've had to deal with while going through this course. And to deal with all of that and still get a good pass is, uh, is well done and hats off to you. Congratulations. To Ivor um, from Bloemfontein but originally from Mannenberg and we spoke about the Cape Flats and the drug scene and what that's all about. We also chatted a lot about uh, your professional football career and the injury that, uh, that took you out of that. Um, I believe that this course um, was also very instrumental and life-changing for you either in finding that you are worthy, finding your sense of self-worth and I think that that will stand you in great stead for the future. And then Rendani, uh, we spoke about you coming from a family of 12 and being an accomplished violinist and a video game junkie. Uh, you quietly determined and you're now going from contact center operations to join us in operations in Joburg South. Gosh, eh? saving for a long time to be able to afford to do this course. Leaving your two young boys in the Eastern Cape with family and coming to Joburg to go through it all. Um, the experience of being far away from them and not really knowing when you'd be able to see them again. And luckily and fortunately for us, now coming to work for ER24. Lisa, we chatted about your love of food, especially curry and bunny chow and, and all things Durban. Um, and lots of chat about uh, your past sporting achievements in netball and volleyball. I believe that uh, during the course, MC was also a pivotal moment for you and was a, a life-changing experience and has resulted in major personal change, which is fantastic to hear and sets you up for the future. Yaku, we spoke about love of flying and getting your private pilot's license. And after everything that's happened on this course and your achievements on this course, it's definitely time for you to move up. Johan, we spoke about places that, uh, that I know and that we had in common, places like Luatla, the Army Battle School out in the Northern Cape, your mom being a military lady for her whole life, and then your time in Humansdorp as well. Johan uh, also being a, a lover of aviation medicine, especially HEMS, with uh, Willem Stassen being his role model. He proved to be an outstanding leader and a great class captain. And I also did, unfortunately for you, hear about the infamous wrecking ball party. Jan, or Janus, um, who chatted about your brother who works up at Onsia Kans in the Northern Cape on a grape farm his love of cars, um, classical music and conservation. And now you're coming to work for us in Joburg North. We're very happy about that and welcome. Kui, I mean, when you talk to somebody like Kui, uh, what do you talk about? You talk about Kui and why Kui and the history of Kui and where Kui comes from and how you feel about Kui and all things Kui and we chatted about Kui. We also chatted about the fact that you're an animal lover, and the amount of sacrifice you've gone through in order to be here, not only yourself, but your family as a whole, um, leaving your kids and particularly one, one very young one behind um, is not easy. And the fact that your dad postponed his retirement in order to continue working and to be able to earn and afford um, and support the family in your absence. Jonathan, 
I mean, your single biggest issue and what we did discuss, man, it's something I believe you haven't got over. And that is the fact that you're a shark supporter and, uh, well, maybe one day you'll get past that. Um, but we also spoke about your love of debating and, and PlayStation. Um, and that's where the big debate developed between PlayStation and Xbox with Rendani. Um, the good thing that I remember is that your first child is due soon and happens to be due on my birthday, so that has to be a positive. Francois, or actually um, prefers to be called Joshua, um, a spy novel freak, um, but hates big dogs, especially a, a real fear of bull bulls. Um, you came back from difficult midterms, um, pushed through finals, and landed up with a good pass. So although I haven't been able to spend that much time with you, I have watched with interest, albeit from a bit of a distance. I've kept in touch with your lecturers, your course leaders and your peers and kept up to date with how it's going and, and how, you're, how you've achieved. I was interested to hear some of the stories of your hospital block and certainly lots of stories of your, of your roadblocks. The feedback on performance for this group was fantastic. Um, certainly, collectively, it's the best AEA group that we've had from a, a performance point of view, from an academic point of view. Um, and we're very, very pleased with the results at the end of the day. To have all, all of our students through and through well makes us all very, very proud. Well done to all of you. Congratulations. Well done to the team downstairs who, who brought you through this process and took you through and, and are now standing with you at your graduation to to Rian and to Nicole um, and Kim and Joel and the rest of the team down there. Well done, congratulations. Um, don't stop doing the things that you learned. Enjoy the physical fitness that Klaus taught you every day. Um, go out there, make us proud and be ER24. Cheers. Three, one. Eyes front. One. Three, two, Selection 8 AEAs. We've had a long difficult road ahead of us and you've come this far. Um, you're going to make a lot of people proud. Your families, patients' families, your company especially. Um, go out there, do what is right, not what is easy.
all I want to say is just uh, congratulations to Selection 8. Um, it's been a long road, long four months. Um, I just want to echo what uh, Mrs. Abib said. Uh, is make us proud out there and uh, do the best you can. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.